Hey everybody, it's Dr. J and today, yes, today we're talking about Le Chatelier's principle. Let's talk about chemistry. So let's move on and let's talk about pressure when we're talking about Le Chatelier's principle. And yes, I'm up here on the top right hand corner in case you didn't know. What's up? All right. So the effect of changing pressure depends on the number of gas reactants and products present. So when it comes to Le Chatelier's uh, principle, basically from before, you know, that was like liquids or anything like that. Um, once again, it's not a pure liquid. So it's not, in that case, not impacting equilibrium. So what happens when you have gases? So if you have gases, you got to do a little, you got to do a couple different things different, okay, when it comes to this. So let's just look at this. And then, of course, I'm going to show you guys an example. Um, but let's look at point A. If there are no gas phase species present, then pressure will have no effect on the equilibrium. So if you don't have any gas species at all, right, pressure is not going to impact your equilibrium. All right, so basically your liquids or solids or something like that, no impact. Next, B, if there are gas phase species present, but there are the same number of gas molecules on each side of the reaction, pressure, once again, will have no effect on equilibrium. So once again, let's look at point A and B. Right now, we said if you don't have any gas, pressure is not going to impact it. And if you have the same number of gas molecules on both sides of your reactions, pressure will not impact it. Now, let's talk about when pressure actually impacts it. So if there are a different number of gas phase species present on the reactant and product sides of equilibrium, then you're going to do this. So increasing the pressure. If you increase the pressure at all during your reaction, it will favor the side of the equilibrium with the smaller number of gas phase molecules. If you decrease your pressure, it's going to favor the side of equilibrium with the large number of gas phase molecules. So let's look at an example, right? Um, so let's say that we have N2 and H2 giving me NH3. All right, so a couple of different things I want to point out here. The size of the flask or the size of the container, whatever, will impact your gas, okay? So because of that, right, the size of it, it's going to shift to fill in whatever type of way. So basically, think about this. The more volume you have, the less pressure you need. So basically, the more volume results in more gas molecules to fill it. So if I got a lot of volume, I'm going to need a lot more gas molecules to fill up this empty space. If I got less volume, right? So if I got a tiny amount, I don't I need more pressure, right? So basically, if I have less volume, then I need less molecules to reduce my pressure. So let's look here. Y'all can see the V, volume down, pressure up, volume up, pressure down. So let's look at this this one on the left side here. So once again, we, we talk about N2 plus 3H2 um, gives me 2NH3. So right now I got four moles of gas on my reactant side and I have two moles of gas on my product side. How do we know that? I'm adding up one plus three and then two right here. So let's look on this side. Let's say, let's say, for instance, I'm going to decrease my volume. Let's say I decrease my volume. So if I'm decreasing my volume, we understand, right, um, I'm going to increase my pressure, right? Because decreasing volume means increasing pressure. So let's look at our reaction. N2 plus 3H2 gives me 2NH3. Now, how many moles... Do I have on both sides, right? Because this is key when we're talking about gases. I got one mole of N2 and three moles of H2. I add those together, I got four moles of gas. I got two moles of NH3, so I got two moles of gas on my product side. Now, since I'm decreasing my volume, which way, right, should we shift? Our reaction is going to shift towards the right. Now, why are we shifting towards the right? 
it's going to shift towards the right because we're going towards the side with fewer moles of gas particles, right? Because why would we shift towards a side that has fewer moles of gas particles? Because we're decreasing our volume, right? If I got a small volume, I need less molecules. And then for this reaction, the case being 2NH3, that's the side with less molecules. So I need more products than reactants right now because my volume is decreasing. But let's think about the other end. What if I increase my volume, right? What if I increase my volume? If I increase my volume, we understand that pressure, that means that it's decreasing, right? So if I'm increasing my volume, or for instance, decreasing my pressure, we still got the same reaction taking place here, N2 plus 3H2 gives me 2NH3. So it's still the four moles of gas on my reactant side, two moles of gas on my product side. That's still the same. But now the only difference is I've increased my volume, right? Decreased my pressure. So what happens to my equilibrium now? Well, my reaction is now going to start to shift left. Why are we shifting left now, Dr. J, when I increase my volume? I'm going to shift left because now my reaction wants to favor the side that has the more moles of my gas particles. In this case, that's my reactant side, right? Because I got four moles of gas. And now I got all this space. I need more gas molecules in this space. You know, I, I, I got this big old container. I need more molecules to fill up this container. And that's not going to happen if it's on this side because there's only two moles of gas. I need to go to this side over here. I need to shift towards my reactants because I got four moles of gas. Right? So now, right, my container can fill up with my reactants because I got four moles of those. And this is how, right, we're going to be thinking about this stuff right here, right? No gas species, no effects. If you got the same on both sides, no effects. But we will, if you increase the pressure, so you increase the pressure, we understand that it's going to favor the side with the smaller number of gas molecules. Because we understand, right, if you increase pressure, your volume is getting smaller. So you need the side with the least amount of gas molecules. And if you decrease pressure, we understand that our volume is getting bigger. So we need the side with the larger number of gas-based molecules.